so um, could you explain to me what's okay. going on tomorrow here? So, oh, we're, oh, hold on. For everybody out there, uh, we're at Fort Hernandez, and um, there's people from Occupy San Fernando Valley, also Occupy LA and Occupy the Hood, that have been out here um, assisting the Fort or the Hernandez family um, with uh, keeping their home that's been foreclosed on as they're going through loan modifications <laughs> fraudulently. And uh, this is Heather. She's going to tell us a little bit more about what's going on and about what's tomorrow. happening tomorrow. Yeah, so tomorrow um, is... Okay, so after the barricade went up, uh, the bank suddenly wanted to talk again. <laughs> and uh, they said, oh yeah, so we just we want to help and loan mod, you know. So uh, tomorrow is actually like the deadline for the paperwork um, that the family is supposed to file with them. And um, so we're having a foreclosure fair. <laughs> There's going to be a festival that starts in around 3 and a, um, a foreclosure forum where we, you know, we're also inviting um, homeowners that, I mean, as was mentioned, there are hundreds of people so they, in this so they, very um, area that uh, we invite to come and join and talk about, you know, and even if you aren't being foreclosed on because, you know, it all really imp impacts our entire community, um, to join in on the discussion. So we're going to have, um, you know, a little panel and after discussion, There'll be food, and starting at three will be the street fair. So there'll be games and okay. music, and <laughs> so what is the address that people can come to? Oh, um, I should know this by heart. <laughs> so <laughs> terrible. Um, That's okay. Bef you know? Before we go there, and we'll recap on what what is happening tomorrow. Um, what's going on over here with this? house. I know on the previous feed, which I'm not sure if it got saved, oh, they, I see. they were saying some background information about the home and and about this home that's across the street. Okay, so um, this was like an, an elderly woman who uh, was told her house is in escrow and they just hassled her. They just hassled her until she couldn't take it anymore and she left and it's been sitting empty now for about a year and a half. So. I don't know. Knowing uh, what the banks have been up to, I suspect that they can't prove that they actually own it, and that's why they haven't sold it. <laughs> that's why, it's, you know, they don't they don't even have uh, the paperwork for the house they but supposedly yeah. own, um, I, as is often the case. I would think it's important for people who, even if they're not having their homes foreclosed upon, if they're having people in their area having their homes foreclosed upon, and then having vacant homes that that's definitely not going to be good for their area and their community. Well, yeah, the vacant homes aren't good for um, the value of the house, houses surrounding it, neither are the foreclosures, neither are the, I mean, you know, there's, yeah, but a year and a half, I mean, come on, that's ridiculous, so, especially since, when you think about it, I mean, it's either this scenario, like, they can't even prove that they own it even after they claimed it, or they just abandon it, and, um, and the other is, oh yeah, we'll help you, we'll help you, and then simultaneously foreclose on the family. <laughs> and even in this case, actually, supposedly the house was sold on auction. Wow. <laughs> Without them even knowing. So, <laughs> so really, the truth is, we don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. But tomorrow right. at 3 o'clock. I don't o think the banks know right. <laughs> what the reality is. But tomorrow to gain support at 3 o'clock, there's going to be a festival. A event. street fair and then a foreclosure, yeah, actually and a discussion. street festival and a foreclosure fair. Okay. <laughs> and so people that want to get more information and want to show support, then come on out and I'm going to get the address. Come out and eat. Come out and eat. Yes. And we're also going to be having come get food. Um, screen printing. Really, actually, bring your own shirts. There's going to be a screener here. We have all kinds of things you can have. Put on your own clothes, or if you have uh, clothes or items that um, you'd like to donate for other people to uh, support, then that would be great too. <laughs> Thank you. And so this is an original resident from the Hernandez yeah, Chala household. Services was, Chala Services was here yesterday. Oh no, let's address that in a moment. Um, but while we're talking about tomorrow oh, yeah, and inviting yeah. people out, oh, there we go. I wanted to get the address, so. <laughs> If you are interested in coming out, get a pen and piece of paper. Um, it is 1462 0 
Leadwell Street, L-E-A-D-W-E-L-L Street, 14620. And that's in Van Nuys, California, 91405. Come help support Fort Hernandez and the Hernandez family and also um, many other people who are being foreclosed upon in the um, San Fernando Valley area, as is happening many other places like we saw earlier in Anaheim. And uh, also I'm going to speak to what happened um, the other day. You said that child services came yeah, back? Yeah, that was the last night. They came over and they were claiming... In the middle of the night? Yeah, it was uh, 12 <laughs> o'clock, it was middle of the night. And they yeah. were, uh, they they came with the excuse that somebody had called them and said that uh, there was children and with no running water. So that's big uh, abuse, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, which was a lie, you know? There, There's running water and everything. And there's kids here and they, they have everything they could possibly need and more. Yeah. You know, so... Uh, that's just a lie. And um, I mean, if they also you want to come see a kid, I mean, you're not gonna come at 12 o'clock at night. Yeah, that you know? seems a bit out of place. Yeah. Well, see, that's and how the system works. Yeah. You know, they they, they 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 come in in the night to steal everything they can get. They they can't come they can't come in daytime and, and be real people. They had to come at night like cowards. With lame excuses. You know, <laughs> it's all about being being cowards. You know, it's they don't want people to see oh. what's really going on. They want they want to catch everybody when they're asleep, so they can be they can you know it's. So, that is from Fort Hernandez up in Van Nuys. Come out tomorrow, eat and be merry and show your support and also get information about foreclosures. foreclosures. Um, so hopefully it does not happen to you and in your neighborhood. Let's, let's support our neighbors and There's our gonna communities. There's going to be a lot of activities for the kids so we could once again prove any doubters that it's a great environment for kids. You know? Thank you guys.